welcome back to my channel. Today is a Monday, which means it is a cycle day, which sets up success for this video. I have been getting a lot of questions over on my other video about my unboxing of my Echelon bike, and it's just, it was bumping. It was a nice, y'all liked that video. So I thought I'd do a follow-up video because a lot of you requested it. So today I'm going to do that. <laughs> for starters, the number one question I received was what spin shoes do I use? I use the team, team shoes, teamy. I call them the teamies. I don't really know what they're called. T I E M spin shoes. They're awesome. They just have this huge Velcro strap. So they're easy to take off and put on, um, which when you're running late to a spin class, like if you're going to Soul Cycle or something, it's kind of nice to have the Velcro. So I highly recommend. I actually don't know. Is there spin shoes with laces? I don't even know. These are really cute. They have this cute little detail. And then they're like normal tennis shoes on the bottom. I don't wear these outside. Like I've worn them to the studio once or twice, but I get scared I'm gonna like mess up my clip. So I don't really do that. But I think that's why they're made this way so you can walk normal. But I do like these. They do run a little small. I got a size six and a half because I wanted them really snug. And I wear like a six and a half or a seven. But I probably should have gotten a seven. I'm pretty sure the website tells you to go up a size. So the website for the cycling shoes actually tells you to go down half a size. But I recommend just staying true to size. I should have ordered a seven. But I think stay true to size in my opinion. But these are the ones I use, and then I'll show you. These are SPD clips, by the way. There's two different types of clips, but these are the ones that perfectly match the clips on my bike. So let's go see the bike. This is my little bike nook. Um, that's just a door to a bathroom, but there's another entrance, so we just use that one because I live in an apartment, so I need to find a little, a little getaway for my bike. So this is the Echelon Connect Sport Bike, I believe it's called. So when you order the bike, it comes with just the cage pedals, which I do like. I think you can get a good ride with these and you can still get out of saddle okay. It's just a little sketchy, um, but this is what it comes with. I upgraded to the clip ends. So this is a whole new pedal. So you get half cage, half clip, which I prefer because I like to ride with the clip. Trey doesn't have spin shoes, so Trey's my boyfriend and he rides on the cages and he likes it just fine. He doesn't mind it. I'm extra and so I wanted the SBD clip add-on. These are $50 on the Echelon website. I'll have them linked down below. You can get your own on Amazon. Just check the size. I don't know if this thing where it connects matters. I had ordered another pair but it wouldn't have had cage and clip and sometimes you're just too lazy to put your spin shoes on so this comes in handy <laughs> let me tell you so to me this is worth the $50 investment to have both cage and clip for our household again if you just ride cage then you don't have to upgrade your pedals I also get a lot of questions because it came with a plug I don't have mine plugged in because it has this like connect sensor thing I think it tracks your workout I don't, I don't really know what it does, but I don't use it. I don't plug it in. You don't need to plug it in. It still pedals without being plugged in. You can still change the resistance without it being plugged in. So I couldn't tell you what plugging it in does, but you can plug it in. It's not like there's a screen or anything. So yeah. For the seat height, I got a lot of questions on this. You can adjust the seat forward and back, and you can adjust the seat, obviously, up and down. Um, I don't know what the highest length is. So Trey's pretty tall, and he puts it on the 14 for his setting. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like inches or centimeters, or I don't know. I ride on five or six. Right around here is where I ride. Um, I don't know if it goes taller. Let's find out. So the max it goes 14 15 16 max so set 17 i guess is your max i'm 5 2 and the max setting goes to about my sports bra line so i don't i don't know if that helps at all i don't know i will say one of the downfalls is you can't adjust the handlebars so you know in most spin classes this right here can scoot forward and back you cannot adjust these on here and so that's really the only thing that's bothered me about this bike but I just configure my settings to make it work or I'll adjust my hand position to make it more comfortable I love the iPad stand I just 
it's it's goals guys I don't know I really like it you can adjust the handlebar height right here again I don't know the max height mine is set on eight but you can adjust it so that is a plus a lot of other questions I have been getting is if it came with weights and things like that it didn't come with weights I believe Eshlon sells weights I just have my own little five pound dumbbells I got from Academy that I just put behind the bike and if I do a class that involves weights I just hop off real quick and get it I am trying to find like a little rack to put on the back for my weights but I just haven't found one um, that works with the bike if I do I'll let you guys know and I'll link it but I am working on that. I don't have a mat yet. If you see, obviously my bike doesn't have a mat underneath it. I wanna invest in one really, really bad because we sweat a lot and we need it. So um, I am gonna look for one of those. I believe Eshon sells those as well. So I just need to go on the website and like get one. Now let me grab my iPad and show you what classes I take. This is my iPad. I have a very old iPad Air. It does the trick. I personally love the Peloton app. It's only $12.99 a month. If you don't have a Peloton bike, I am going to do a full video just testing out Peloton classes. So let me know if that's something you do want to see. But when you open up the app, it looks like this. There's yoga, meditation, running, cycling, stretching, strengthening, cardio, walking boot camps there's so many classes obviously i take the cycling class and there's a ton of on-demand classes to choose from i have taken live classes before they're cool but since you don't have a peloton they're not like overly different than taking an on-demand class so i just prefer doing on demand because it fits my schedule better than trying to be on time for a live class unless you need that structure great you can like classes you can filter what genre of music what i personally like is that you can check what the playlist looks like like a little sample of it so i'm like ooh, i really like that artist like i know i'll vibe to that ride type of thing so that's pretty cool um you can do your what length so there's as little as five minutes all the way to 90 minute classes so i typically like to do 20 to 45 minutes on the bike so 20 30 or 45 today i'm gonna cut it a little close on time so i'm gonna do a 20 minute ride might do another one later today and then there's different class types. There's climbs, intervals, low impact, all, all the different kinds. I just look up by how long and maybe what genre of music. So I like pop, hip hop, all of that stuff. I hit the filter and then it brings up all of the classes for me. So that's what I'm going to take right now. I'm going to pop my shoes on. Let's ride. This is my iPad. I have a very old iPad Air. It does the trick. I personally love the Peloton app. It's only $12.99 a month. If you don't have a Peloton bike, I am going to do a full video just testing out Peloton classes. So let me know if that's something you do want to see. But when you open up the app, it looks like this. There's yoga, meditation, running, cycling, stretching, strengthening, cardio, walking, boot camps. There's so many classes obviously I take the cycling class and there's a ton of on-demand classes to choose from I have taken live classes before they're cool but since you don't have a peloton they're not like overly different than taking an on-demand class so I just prefer doing on-demand because it fits my schedule better than trying to be on time for a live class unless you need that structure great you can like classes, you can filter what genre of music. What I personally like is that you can check what the playlist looks like, like a little sample of it. So I'm like, ooh, I really like that artist. Like, I know I'll vibe to that ride type of thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can do your, what length? So there's as little as five minutes all the way to 90 minute classes. So I typically like to do 20 to 45 minutes on the bike. So 20, 30 or 45 today i'm gonna cut it a little close on time so i'm gonna do a 20 minute ride might do another one later today and then there's different class types there's climbs intervals low impact all, all the different kinds i just look up by how long and maybe what genre of music so i like pop hip-hop all of that stuff i hit the filter and then it brings up all of the classes for me so that's what i'm gonna take right now i'm gonna pop my shoes on let's ride 
One of my favorite instructors is Alex. He's awesome. So I'm going to take his 20 minute pop ride. There's a description of the ride and a little playlist segment so you can see what you're going to listen to. I'm going to hit start and we're going to ride. Before we start, um, I want to talk about clipping in. Obviously, it can be tricky if you haven't done it, but push down on your toe. Oh, this is hard standing up. Let me let me let me get in the saddle. So you're gonna want to obviously get on the right side, push down, and when you hear that click, you are stuck. When you're trying to get out, you're gonna hold down on the brake, twist your ankle out, and you are free to go. Workout, sweaty sesh. Oh, I need to in my watch. All right, 20 minutes in, I'm sweating. It was like definitely some intense sprints in that ride with Alex, but it was so good. I'm gonna rinse off, show you what I'm eating post post spin. But um, I'm loving this bike. I just get so many questions if I recommend it. I highly recommend. Use the link down below to purchase it. It's so good. I love it. Eshel makes a bunch of different styles of bikes. They make the reflection mirrors. They make rowers, they got it all. This is not a sponsored video, but I do have an affiliate link with Ashlon down below and the endorphins are really high right now. So, uh, I need a protein shake and a shower, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 